Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at hash table collection in vb.net. So first thing, create one console vb.net project in Visual Studio. Now you will have empty solution such as this. Now here, let's create our first hash table with name color. So adds hash table. And we have to call for new hash table to declare that. Okay, now next thing, let's call for color dot here I'm going to use color then specify its index value and then I'm going to add the value so let's start with a red color then color on second key will be blue so as you can see you have hash table in index way but it still retains key value pair so your hash table can be used like your typical array or like your typical hash collection where you have key value pair okay so let's add another then value set to green now to access this collection we can make use of for loop or for each loop so for for each loop you can use for each element as dictionary entry so dictionary entry here in your color okay now here I want to first access my key so I'm going to use console a right line and then element dot key then I want to access control console right line and then element dot value so you have key value pair here okay so if you use for loop then you will have to call for these key value pair on the basis of index value in case of for each loop we can access key and value pair independently you can use write for your key and then write line for value this way you will have key value pair in output on same row okay so let me execute this and show you how it goes okay now here as you can see it will output from last entered value which is third value then it will show the color and second and then first okay with the help of for each loop however we have managed to call for key and value independently with simple for loop you can just call for this index value and get your key value pair okay so this was hash table this collection allows you to input your hash collection in key value pairs and you can either access it through index or you can use it to access with key and value okay so this was short demo on hash table